just knew from the start that it was a mistake to help that farmer. Did you see what she did to Reiko? She just dissolved. How is that even possible? How the fuck would I know? The carriers were trying to persuade the government to press him. And once he has, he can deal with the steel bags. I'll bet my boy that he has enough money and guns to make all this shit worthwhile. Keep your balls. I just want to get out of here.
that's just bullshit. A torture, not torture. There we go. That trick has yet to disappoint me. So what do you say now, you piece of shit? I'll make you pay for what you... Well, that just great. Another weapon-wielding bitch. Put down your weapon. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, is that so? All of your men are dead. And even if you manage to get past us, there are dozens of guards further up. So put down your weapon, or you will regret it. Such determination. All right, then. Die! As you wish. Are you... are you all right? What the heck was that? I... It, it's nothing. Did he hurt you? Can you walk? You didn't answer my question. 
what in blazes did just happen? Your eyes, the mist, you, you were different. What is this, an interrogation? As I see it, I just saved your damn life. So why don't you do me a favor and keep the questions to yourself? <sighs> I, I'm sorry, this is... It's too much right now. We'll talk about it once we get back to the temple. Now, come on, we should push forward. I fell, thank Malthus, into a thicket farther down the ruin. It was some kind of machine room, at least that's what it looked like to me. And luckily enough, that's also how the traps in the entrance are being controlled. I tried to deactivate them, we'll see if it worked. Anyway, do you see the camp down there? We should take a look at it. I doubted the fruit of honest labor. So that's what this was all about? They fled here to protect their loot? <sighs> we should bring this to the Order. Maybe we can find out who they stole it from. No! You can't do that, please. Stay right there. Who are you? I'm not one of them! Please don't hurt me! I... Oh, by the righteous path. What did I get myself into? If you're not one of the bandits, then who are you? Alice, Alice Summerstone. I'm just a simple man, a farmer by me path. I have two daughters, me woman and a little farm girl just a few miles from Ark. Maybe you know one of me girls. She sells our bread at the market, Mondas de Preras. The skinny one with the blonde hair? Yes, exactly. That's her. My little Serta. Explain yourself. Why are you here? Right, of course. Do you know who Landlord Borek is? He is one of the most influential landlords of the Farmer's Coast. Both the Guard and the Order get their food from his lands. What does he have to do with this? Everything. It's a pathless bastard. And all of this, all of this is his fault. I swear it by me name. Why? Because he's a criminal, that's why. <sighs> Believe me, I know how that sounds. But it's the truth. You have to believe me. The tolls he collects from his tenants are so high that we hardly have anything left to eat. And those who don't pay get beaten up by his lackeys. But that's not all of it. He also knows the Relata. The Relata? They? Cult from the Undercity? Aye, who else? They believe themselves above Malthus, above the Holy Path. They are powerful. Which is also why no one does anything about them. And let me guess, this gold belongs to Borak, and you hope that his supposed cruelty justifies your theft? No. No, this money isn't his. I had debts. It all started three years ago, when we had a very bad harvest and I couldn't pay me toll for the first time. Borak gave me a loan, but he said that I'd have to pay interest next time. Well... I think you can figure out the rest. You got into more and more debt and you were looking for a way to pay everything at once? Aye. I knew from a friend that there was this man in the Undercity, this... Carrick. And he said that he and his men might be willing to help me, if they would get money from it. Apparently they even had a sense of honor and path abidingness, if you can call it that. So you made a bargain with them? But whose pennies are those? They... They're from a traveling merchant. We ambushed him and... You know what we did. But I swear by me name we didn't hurt him. When we had the money, all sunfire started breaking loose. Some kind of... Woman appeared, all veiled and dressed in black. And in the wink of an eye, she killed two of Carrick's men. We tried to fight her at first. But then we ran for it. Well... And ended up in this ruin. A veiled woman? With dark robes and a low voice? 
She didn't speak much, but yes, she had dark robes, and she was different, unholy. Sorry, I'm, I don't know how to describe her any better. Rhetoric's no merchant in his right mind would travel the Penny Road alone, especially not with all the brigands and batters who have been roaming it lately. What? No, no, you're wrong, I'm not... All right. It's true. The money is from the food bank. The food bank? You stole from the people of the Undercity? Yes. But I didn't have a choice. It was either that or lose me farm. You realize that Karak's men killed three guards from Ark? So much for bandits with honor. I know. I was there. Karak was so mad about all that happened with this witch woman, you know? I think he just wanted to get his men to safety. But still, you're right. I was a fool to trust him. And I regret what I did. And now you expect me to turn you loose with the money, right? To save your farm. Me farm and me family, I. Please, it's the right thing to do. If I don't have the money by the next turn of the moon, Borek and his lackeys will change their tune. And I know what that means. What do you think, Kalia? Hmm, it's a tough call. I can understand his motivation, but that doesn't change the consequence of his actions. If we let him run, we legitimize his crime, so to speak. You should justify your crime before the tribunal. Explain to them what Borek did, and they might judge you lightly. <laughs> judge lightly? You don't really believe that, do you? They don't care about the why, and even if they do, it doesn't change a damn thing about the fact that my family is lost without this money. Maybe, but it doesn't change that you're at least partially responsible for what happened here. But it's your call. Right intentions don't justify doing the wrong thing. This money isn't yours. You'll be presented to the tribunal. No, but... Oh, damn, damn, damn. What did I get myself into? By the prophet's ass, you really got them all. You don't stop surprising me, that's for sure. And neither do you, Keeper Sakuresh. Thanks for deactivating the traps up there. Who's our shackled friend here? He doesn't look like one of the bandits. No, but he's guilty nonetheless. Can you escort him to Ark? To Ark? Sure. Jaquil, Joro, you take care of that. All right then. I'd say if this machine is somewhere in this ruin, it's here. I suggest you two take a look around. We'll cover your back in the meantime. I suppose we found our machine. At least, what's left of it. Do you feel anything, Saira? With your gift, I mean. Nothing, no. But this thing looks... familiar... somehow. Let's take a look around. Agreed. Maybe we can even take some small parts of it with us right now. The Order will transport the rest to Ark by Myra. What strange metal. It didn't rust at all, despite all the time it's been here.
All this energy, it's useless without the Numinos. something shows the dynamo that looks useful whatever it is yes mm, yes you're right how is it possible that it moves all by itself let's take it with us Nothing else possesses that much raw, magical power. Yes? Found something? Show the crystal canister. Look what I found. Does this seem useful? Let me see. Hmm. Yes, it does indeed. Seems to be some kind of energy storage, but it's empty. It works in a way we have not even come close to comprehending, like a cosmic force. something show the old parchments what about these parchments hmm they look useful let's take them to the chronicum I think that's all we need for now let the order take the rest hmm yes I think you're right hopefully we didn't miss anything let's go talk to Pegast Now that was quick. So, what did you find? You were right. There is a machine back there. At least there was once. The years have taken their toll on it. Well, that's not much of a surprise considering how long it was down here. And as long as we can reconstruct it, that's alright. I sent some of my men back to Ark. We'll request a caravan to get all the parts back to the temple and see what we can do from there. Let's just hope it really will help us against this cleansing, whatever it is. As much as I admire Pyrean technology, I don't like the idea of putting our lives in the hands of it. Show Lashiri the old parchments, we found this near the machine. Maybe this can give us a little insight into what it really is? Hmm, let me see. Interesting. Truly interesting. What? See, machine was only some kind of prototype. The real one the Pyreans were working on must be somewhere else. 
Plus, there's also a name for it. The Pereans called it the beacon. Hmm, that's poetic. Indeed. Well then, it seems like you and your visions have once again saved the day, prophetess. There's a lot for us to do now. If you've taken care of your business here, I suggest you head back to Ark and report to Old Aranthiel. What do you think, Sahira? Do you want to leave now, or stay a little longer? Let's go. Good. There you are. Pegasus mages have already told the Grandmaster about our find, and they're waiting for us in the Emporium. Let's go. All that I am saying is that there are more efficient ways to battle this red madness. And heathen machines atop the Sun Temple are the last thing that will calm the townsfolk. Maybe. But if this heathen machine is what the Pyreans used to combat the cycle, I want it near. Even if it turns out to be useless, only a fool turns down a chance. Sharon, how long will the reconstruction take? Well, it depends on how many Pyrean mechanics you have on hand that can help us decipher these plans. Just think for once, Aranthio. How are we supposed to give you an estimation if we don't even know what the finished machine is supposed to look like? We will get to work right away, Grandmaster. But in any case, we're going to need a lot of steel and Pyrean crystals. You will get them. Now get to work. Now, if it isn't the prodigy, well... You did excellent work. We will reconstruct this machine no matter the price. Here, this will reward you for your effort. With a beacon and the sigil stone, we now have both a sword and shield against these high ones. It is more than I'd hoped for. However, there has also been a disquieting development. I have called in a conclave, and it will take place in a day. Come back then, and use the time to rest. Saira, good to see you. Do you need anything? Why is it that you always say Kirish? Isn't that Kiranian? Yes, it is. Master Tyrus, my foster father. He was half Kiranian, as you might have guessed already. Some words just stuck around. If you don't know your parents, how did you come by your name? Kalia? It was stitched into the blanket they found me in near that village. I don't really know if it is my actual name, but I had nothing else to go with, so it stuck. Character not really. 
I just came to talk. Hmm, that's convenient, actually. I think I still owe you an explanation. About old Deathelgrad, I take it. Yes, but let's talk somewhere else. Come on. So, sorry for all the secrecy. I just didn't want anyone else to listen in. I can understand that. So, what did you want to discuss? Well, that moment when I neutralized the leader of the bandits in Old Dothelgrad. I'm sure you noticed that I was different then. That's one way to put it. You seemed upset. Upset. You choose your words carefully, Saira. I appreciate that. I'll make this quick. There is something about me that you don't know. That no one knows, actually. Do you remember what I told you in the QRM about the destroyed village? Well, I... I wasn't entirely honest with you. So you do know what actually happened? Not all of it, no, and it's true that I don't know how I ended up there. But I remembered something, just before I regained consciousness. Some kind of... vague memory. A feeling, coupled with an image. A feeling? What exactly do you mean by that? It's hard to describe, because it didn't last very long, but... <sighs> I saw myself, but I was somehow above the rooftops, as if I flew. Below me, I saw all the chaos. The dead, the fire, the devastated houses, and I somehow felt... hot, but from inside, as if my blood was boiling. <sighs> that sounds crazy, doesn't it? I'm sorry, but I don't know how to describe it better than that. So, that was, what, a memory? Something that really happened? I'm not sure I'm following. It was something that actually happened, I'm sure of it. But the memory, it was somehow blurred. Like a dream, but a very vivid one. What happened then? Nothing. I woke up, and from there things happened just as I've already told you. But that's not really what I'm trying to get at. In that memory, when I saw all those dead bodies and all that destruction, I felt... satisfaction. Pleasure. As if all that suffering, all that pain, was the most exhilarating thing I'd ever seen. I'm not sure I can follow. What are you trying to tell me? Well... I didn't know what to make of that memory myself for quite a long time. But then, things happened that made me understand. There is something inside my head, Saira. Some kind of second soul, an entity. Most of the time it sleeps, but there are situations in which it wakes up. Mostly when something atrocious happens or has happened. Blood, pain, death. Whenever I'm confronted with these kinds of things, it tries to... I don't know how to put it... tries to take control of me, and then things like Alt de Thulgrad happen. It's never managed to completely take me over, and it hasn't gotten as far as it did in Alt de Thulgrad for a long, long time now. But that memory from the village... I think that is what happens when I let myself go completely. In other words, you have some kind of demon inside you? If that name seems fitting to you, then yes. But I think we both know these stories about ghosts taking over the living are just stories to scare the common folk. If it helps you, think of it as some kind of... temptation. One that's just waiting for the moment when I am too weak to contain it. And I'm guessing this power you suddenly had when you killed the bandit comes from this entity inside you? Yes, it is immense, Saira. I can feel it every time it is trying to take me over. 
I don't even want to think about what would happen if I were to give in completely. Um, that's a lot take in. I figure. Listen, what happened in old Dothulgrad? I never should have let it come to that. That moment when he charged me. The blood on his sword. I just couldn't contain it. And when I gave in, when I hacked him into pieces, I simply felt so... thrilled. Complete. <sighs> I was naive to believe it would never get that far again. Naive and stupid. But do you see now? This is the reason why I train so hard. Why I always try to control my emotions, no matter what people do or say to me. This creature inside me, it's always on the hunt. And the only way I can keep it at bay is by controlling both my body and spirit 100%. Just one moment of carelessness. That's all it takes. And is there nothing you can do about this? No way to banish this, monster? No way that I know of, at least. Who should I ask? The apothecary? There are two ways that would go. Either they would ridicule me, or they would take me seriously and report my condition to the Order. Neither way helps me, and who knows what the Order would do if they found out. Especially as strained as the situation is right now. Um. So those villagers could have been right after all. Did you destroy that village? I don't know, Sayra. Believe me, I've asked myself that question more than a hundred times. And as much as I hate to admit it, yes, there's a chance it did. I'll never find out. If you were to let it take you over completely, what would happen? I don't know. And truth be told, I'm not sure I want to. I see. Does the Order know about this? The Magisters? Only Master Tyrus, my foster father. He taught me how to contain it by controlling my thoughts. And he also advised me never to tell anyone about it, which I haven't. Until today. And why did you tell me? I don't know. Probably because I was afraid you'd tell someone else about what happened in Old Dothugred and that that would raise suspicions. A coward's move, I know, but it was the best solution I could come up with. I'm sorry. But if violence provokes this thing, why are you with the military wing of the Order? <sighs> well, what would be the alternative? Transcribe Pyrean books like the Magisters do all day? Or drop out entirely and pour hot water for the upper city's noblewoman? Look, Saira, as you've already pointed out, there is a chance that this thing inside me is responsible for the massacre in the village. And if that's true, I definitely have a lot of repentance to do, don't you think? And even if it isn't. I want to change things, to make the world at least a little bit better. And yes, I do realize that this means a lot of hardship and hard work for me, but I'm not afraid of that. Do you know why? Because that's what's missing in this world. So many people just talk, 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 and never act because that would mean that they'd have to actually endure something for what they believe in. An admirable attitude. One that shouldn't be an exception. <sighs> anyway. The one thing I ask of you is to keep silent about what I've told you. It will never come to something like that again, I promise. I'd like some time by myself now. And thanks for listening. Transcribe verse 80 100 times. It doesn't make sense. can rain fire. I just does never change.
That's the problem, isn't it? 